friends, family, and community members came out to support the family of Michael Jeremio. The 11-year-old boy died after the raft he was riding and flipped over at the Raging River Ride at Adventureland Park over the weekend. KCCI's Chris Kochner is live in Cedar Rapids tonight at the site of a prayer vigil. Yeah, and at this service here at the Christian Life Church, there was not only mourning for Michael, but prayers for his brother David, who survived the accident but was badly injured. Song and prayer filled the rows of the Christian Life Church in Cedar Rapids Wednesday, rallying around faith, rallying around the Jeremillo family. Their pastor says faith is important to the Eastern Iowa family, and they're leaning on it right now, having lost their son, 11-year-old Michael, in Saturday's accident at Adventureland. Michael knew that he knew that he knew that Jesus was his savior. Friends say they came here to lift them up. We are a family, so we've all lost one of our own. Nothing we're feeling compares to the grief that the Jeremillo family is feeling right now. But in grief, there was also hope. Michael's brother David turned 16 at Blank Children's Hospital Wednesday. He was badly hurt when the tube flipped over and is in an induced coma. But there are signs of recovery. So not only is David alive, but his brain is working. Yes. 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 It's a Pastor Christian Shield says David has woken up a few times and has responded to his parents by moving his limbs in his head. Father, I pray this would not be the last birthday that he ever sees. Attendees face Des Moines to pray that the Jeremillo family won't have to bury a second child and that they all may heal. Father, only you can do it and we ask that you would. And a memorial service for Michael Jeremillo is planned for Saturday, July 17th at a church in Des Moines. Pastor Shields says they're having it there rather than here in eastern Iowa, so his parents, David and Sabrina, can be close to David Jr. We're live in Cedar Rapids. Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.